but that's that's pretty much what I've been playing. Nothing uh, amazing. There you go. I'm curious because you're talking about going through your phone, clearing out things. You kept Eat Venture. Did you keep Vampire Survivors? I did. Oh, okay. I did. I have put some work into that. I did buy the DLC. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of that. Hello and welcome to level 100 of the Thoughts and Players podcast, the gaming podcast with both takes and no strings attached. I am Jeremy here with my compadre, David. What up? I've done that a hundred times. You've done that a hundred times. Probably technically a hundred plus, maybe. But, yeah. well, I know for a fact a hundred plus because we actually have, we'll release this, I think, for patrons first. Uh, we actually have a lost episode 99. And and here's one thing, people. Just for, for one, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us for level 100. I'm not good at maths, okay? So as we were trying to calibrate to make sure we were on pace, right? I'm like, we got to make sure we're recording. I got the numbering mixed up. I said, David, we I we accidentally said this was level 99. That was actually level 98. So this one's level 99. But no, we were right the whole time. <laughs> and and I thought it, and there's just another level 99 just in the ether now. So we'll put that out for patrons pretty soon here. But we have reached level 100. Yes, you've done it. So at least a 101 times. You fit us with a what up. Yeah, I remember, I think it was either the third or fourth episode. I tried something different, and then somebody was like, just just do the what up. I think it was Cody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, all yeah. right, you got it. That's that's uh, that's the brand. That's the, yeah, that's the, that's the slogan. Ladies and gentlemen, chickens, ducks, and hens. Again, we welcome them in, and thank you for joining us for this level of the pod. Um, I mean, I, maybe take a, a second to reflect on level 100. 100 of these we've put out um so it's been interesting it's been fun yeah i it's really been funny yeah it's been funny and i really feel like i really feel like in that 100 episodes in and this is encapsulated in maybe three three and a half to four years of time mm-hmm. we've had a pandemic right that's all happened. We literally started when the pandemic started and we've been able to last <laughs> Talk about as a timing. pandemic. I know. Right. But also, I, I don't know if the pandemic is part of that or maybe it's just how things are. It feels like as this podcast is going, we've watched the video game industry um, change in a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a lot of change that happened, especially like in those mid to late 2010s. There was a lot of change, but I feel like, you know, we were here when we changed to next gen. We were here when they're really, they really started ramping up on digital stuff. And like, we have some games coming up. One of the games we're excited about, Hellblade 2, was a digital only game, I think. It's so, upsetting. like, seeing certain trends and certain things happen is really interesting. Mm-hmm. So, that's been a cool observation. So, um, yeah, hitting level 100 has been, you know, it's cool. And it's hopefully, you know, we'll hit another 100 or 200, 300, however many we have to go, however many more we have to put out for me to finally give to, you know what? It's level 100. I'm going out. <laughs> we need more people. We need to get things going. I need to figure out a way to give away this goddamn Google Stadia. OK, you people are right. not going to stick me with this thing. All right. <laughs> I know I got greedy and bought two of them and then they crash. We got to get one away. We got to give one away. That was the, that was a shtick. And a completely unopened, pristine condition Google Stadia. You want it? You may it's be thinking to yourself. Item, honestly, there's people out there that collect consoles. Yeah. And again, people may be thinking, wait, Google Stadia, isn't that just a controller and a Chromecast? Can I just get a Chromecast? Don't think about it. All right? Just, <laughs> just, 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 don't be just help me out. Help me out. This is a personal plea. But um, yeah. So again... It, Let's jump right into it. We're the gaming podcast. Let's jump right into games. Level 100 especially, right? Um, So we're going to talk. Let's let's start off with what we always start off with, which is what we've been playing. Now, I can start first. I've got a couple of games I've been playing. I've got one that's a throwback that I think you're going to like, David. Let them have it. Yeah, let's hear it. All right. So the games I've been playing, mostly, mostly, I have been playing Fable 2. Still into that, oh. still in the throes of it, right? Um, 
just progressing, just trying to you know, trying to buy all the stuff, get all the money, you know, like you mm-hmm. do in Fable. So you try to become a a, a a killing mogul. But I'm trying to do a good. I'm trying to be a good person in Fable. All right. I'm not trying to be a bad person. So I'm doing that. That's uh, that's been really fun. That's been interesting. Um, another game that I played it. This is maybe the second or third year that it's been on Xbox, but mm-hmm. MLB the Show. So okay. got a sports game coming up here, right? Um, I think I can't remember how long ago, but MLB the Show used to be a PlayStation exclusive because they had the exclusive rights on baseball, and then baseball said, "No, nah, put it on the other ones." So, <laughs> um, so now this and, and people talk about, "Oh my God, I can't believe that there's three or four Xbox games on PlayStation." Well, there has been a PlayStation game on Xbox before those games went over there. And it's it's not by their own. They would rather keep it exclusive, but it will be the show. So I've been playing that. This is the first year where you can choose to be either a male baseball player or a female baseball player. So that's really cool. Um, and in, in, in the career mode, but they have a bunch of other things. So I've been playing that, crushing the ball, hitting homers left and right. Your boy's going to get right. a contract. All right. He's, <laughs> it's, it's, he's going he's going to get he's going to get called up to the majors. Um, so I've been playing that. That's mostly what I've been playing. And then last but not least, you know, I was bored, fired up the phone. And I got sucked in again. David, you oh, want to take a guess as to what game I got Is sucked it into Eat Venture again? again? Eat Venture got me. It yeah. got me. <laughs> it got me. Okay. I'm 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 back in there slinging donners and kebabs and burgers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh I've been playing that. I've been playing that a good bit on the phone as well. Um, but that's mostly been what i've been playing i was before i mentioned before playing some kingdom not kingdom come but um some kingdoms of amalur re-reckoning mm-hmm. i will get back to that but i want to finish i want to wrap up fable 2 first and then eventually i'll go that and sucks. play some things i think xbox has a sale going on right now um and steam recently had a sale where i picked up all those old command and conquer games i'll jump into those too there's so many things going on so many games and actually right. as i'm saying this i probably won't jump into those because there's another game coming out that i want to play that i'll talk about <laughs> later but it is what it is that's what i've been playing how about you, you know uh, uh, eventually eventually you know? and that could be anytime anytime i'm, and also, I'm really trying it, to clear the backlog it's funny uh, enough i just went through my phone last night and just you know i was clearing some space out and I did not delete Eat Venture. I was like, you know yeah. what? I I might get back into this game sometime. In a pinch. I don't I don't, I don't want to get rid of my progress, you know, nothing like that. Yeah. So that, that's funny. You got back into it and I was just thinking about it. But uh So I'll tell you what I haven't been playing. Mm. And that's Overwatch. Oof. Because I got banned again for a oh, month. Oh, really? Yeah. I I don't so there's a huge like uproar over their banning system right now. Like you legitimately can't even swear. No, oh, that's ridiculous. like if somebody is just reporting you because you know they're salty or whatever, or you actually were being toxic. Like if they go through and they hear say or see swear words, they just ban you. Oh man, that's insane. So that's crazy. And so could play again yeah, with Rust. May May tenth, I can play again if I want yeah. to. Okay, but. Uh, been playing some Apex, and I don't know if it's regrettably, but I re-downloaded Dead by Daylight today. Yeah, yeah. There's a well, lot I, that I've missed. Well, look, I mean, one of your one one of your clans is shunning you, so you got to go back to the other clan that you know. Well, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> gotta find that your other sense. people. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, playing a lot of TFT. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm kind of bored of it this season. There's just like two comps that just overrun everything. So trying to do any other comp, it just you just know you're gonna lose. You try anyways. Yeah. And so it's kind of boring. I'll I'll still throw in there and try to get a win or two with one of the two and call it a day. But that's that's pretty much what I've been playing. Nothing uh, amazing. There you go. I'm curious because you're talking about going through your phone, clearing out things. You kept Eat Venture. Did you keep Vampire Survivors? I did. Oh, okay. I did. I have put some work into that. I did buy the DLC. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of that. Mm, that's good. I think um, I still have it on my Xbox. I think. 
I don't think I have it on my PC anymore because I was originally I started playing on my PC and mm-hmm. everyone was like, "You're stupid playing it on a keyboard or mouse. That's dumb. Like you're... you don't play it that way." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, well, I beat the first two levels playing on a keyboard or mouse, but I got you." So I played it on the Xbox. They were kind of right. It makes more sense to play with a thumbstick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's yeah, that's interesting. Vampire Survivors sticking around. Vampire Survivors and Eat Ventures mm-hmm. still on the phone. Nice. Um, actually, I should say Eat Venture. I don't know why I'm putting an S on it. That tends to be something that Michiganders do, right? That's Meyer, we do. Meyer. We say Myers, not Meyer. Everything. Right? It's Kroger's, Myers. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it, it don't matter. Just like plurals. We just like plurals. So, um, all right, that's what we've been playing. So, um, we've got some topics. I think they're pretty interesting. Um, I agree. I'm gonna if I can take over a little bit. I'm going to go with mine first because, again, I find your topic to be more interesting, so I might want to spend some more time on that. Okay. Um, but kind of thinking about we were talking about, like I mentioned Vampires and Virus, all these different things like that. And mm-hmm. I also mentioned that I don't know if I'm going to actually play those games I said I was going to play because there's another game coming out that I want to play. So there's a game coming out April 26th. So this episode may be out. It'll be out before before that game comes out. Manor Lords is the name of it. Uh, this is, I believe, at at the moment, the most wish listed game on Steam. There's been a bunch Crazy. of like, there's been a bunch of like um, YouTuber strategy, especially like I watch a lot of strategy game YouTubers. So people like Pixelated Apollo, Raptor, um, they've been playing the game. Even um, I watch another YouTuber, City Platter plays. He usually plays a lot of City Skylines. He's been playing it. Um, so it's how, how, how have they been playing it? If it- hasn't come out yet. If well, of course, they're big. Is it like they're in big, a beta or? Yeah, yeah, they're big deals. So they they just get you know pre release themes. It's going to come out. Yeah, it's okay. going to come out release in a beta state. I believe is what it's going to be. Got it. Um, okay. So so it'll, for Xbox, it'll be in their preview, I guess, program mm-hmm. until eventually it's whatever. It's a full release. Okay. Um, but they've been playing it. I haven't watched any of it mostly because I've been. I'm not mostly some 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 of it because I've been busy. Most of it because of of spite and envy uh <laughs> so so i, I haven't watched all I of it, but i am going to check out some stuff just to learn some strategies but anyway right. what is it manor lords is it's a kind of rts city builder rpg real-time strategy his like game mixed all in one kind of right wow. so um you can build a city you're building the city to um to raise an army to fight against uh the kingdom and 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 build your own and like make your own kingdom. The cool thing is that you can actually like build your city like a city builder and then um actually jump into like a third person over the shoulder type view and walk around the city that you've built. So to really? some people that may sound a little bit similar if you're if you've played the Tropico games, you can you can drop in as El Presidente and walk around. It's a little different. It's a little different than that. Um but that's really cool but also you're trying to raise an army of people to fight against this kingdom. Uh, it looks awesome. It looks beautiful. The idea sounds awesome. These amalgamation of ideas. I mean, you immediately get like, like you immediately you immediately get like Mountain Blade vibes a little bit, and I I love that. I love that whole series. So it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. But it's I I've known about this game for years, and I've kept tabs on this game for years, and I've been excited about it for years. And that reminded me of another awesome game that I was excited about for years, and that was Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, this game came out quite a few years ago, right? But it's a bohemian medieval age, realistic RPG. You play this protagonist, Henry. Your family gets killed, I think, and you have to learn to fight and become a knight and survive and fight for their honor, and a bunch of other things happen, right? I knew about this game for years. I mean, I followed the posts and updates about it and videos and all that stuff super hyped for when it came out and then something happened something happened (laughs) and then it then it's and then it's been out for a few years and Mm -hmm. i see it on the store and i said oh yeah why didn't i get that (laughs) right and that happened that happened fairly recently like i saw it on sale and i'm like yo why haven't i bought this game yet i was i was i was invested in this game right like i've bought other games that i had no Ghost of Tsushima, I love it, right? I had no idea about Ghost of Tsushima until like maybe like four or five months before it came out. This game I followed for years and I forgot to get it. 
So that made me what that gave me two things, right? It made me fearful that oh no, I can't forget to get Manor Lords. Now that won't happen because it's so close. And again, it's going to come on an Xbox Game Pass. I can grab it and just do whatever I want with it. Right. Um, but the other thing it made me think of is, have there ever been games that you were super invested in and hyped for, and then they released and you just totally forgot? You just blanked out and then remembered later, oh, yeah, I was so hyped about this game, right? Have you ever right. had that? I've had I've had a couple of them. One that I can mm -hmm. give, um, which I, I think I did just give, is it's Kingdom Come Deliverance. Right. Um, is that hey, I years I followed this, right? Um, another one was Metro Exodus. So there's the Metro series, which I believe are based on um a, a, a series, a Russian novel series. Okay. And Metro is about it's the future, it's dystopian, all that different stuff like that. They originally had the games come out, which I believe were called uh Metro um uh, First Light. Or and I think one was Metro 2033. I think that's what they're called. But I remember playing both of those games, and I think this these games were 360. So I remember playing both of these. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. It's a really stark, really kind of intense atmosphere. Ammo is like super scarce. The guns they don't work. They jam these weird, crazy creatures you got to fight. It takes place in this in this kind of Russian hellscape. You have Russian protagonists. So you have like this really different kind of cultural impact on it. Um, and I'm like, oh man, this is cool. And then they were coming out with the last one, which I believe mm -hmm. is Exodus. And it was like brighter. There's a little bit of base building in it. It takes place in the winter. There's all but, and I remember being, I'm like, oh, I, I played and beat the first two. Right. And I'm like, oh, this is it. This is going to be, this is it. <laughs> right up your alley. This is, you know what I'm saying? And it came out. And again, something happened to where I just wasn't aware of it until a couple of years after it came out. And I was like, oh, yeah, why, why don't I have this game? Now, that one I did buy. I bought it and haven't played it since. <laughs> so uh, so again, when I talk about like getting back to my backlog, these are like the type of things I'm talking about. And even right. I think I read somewhere this game is about 15 to 20 hours. So it Dang. fits in. It fits in my hour right, limit. Right of what, you know, you. yeah. So I'll get to it, but that's another one of it's like I'm, I'm I'm I know about this game. I'm following it for years. I'm super pumped, and then somewhere between my enthusiasm and the release date, it escapes my mind, and I rediscover mm -hmm. it a year or two or three after it came out. So I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, weird, weird things happen, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I have two examples. Uh, one of them is Mirror's Edge. So the original game, I loved that game. I freaking I put Lady Gaga's first album on my Xbox 360, and yeah. I would just play that game while jamming to that album. Isn't that great? So I miss yeah, that. so like when any of those songs are playing, I can just see Mirror's Edge in my head. It's it's crazy. I I did that way too much, but eventually they're like, hey, we have another one coming out. I was like, heck yeah! I went to the store and bought it like the day or the week that it came out. Mm -hmm. I still have it in the Saran wrap. I never played really? it. Really? Yeah. I was so hyped for that game. Yeah. So hyped, and I I never touched it. Yeah. You think I would have by now? Maybe because I still have my one. And it's hooked up and everything. Mhm. Mm nope. It happens. I haven't done anything with it. That's it, it, it happens. I do. I have I have a quick I have a quick question, and it's about okay. the Lady Gaga. So, well, do you remember which which album it was that you had on there? Yeah, it was it was her first one. Uh, her first one. The, that, I think it's that, called Monster. Okay, was that the one that had like bad romance like on poker, there? No, no, the that that one is uh, her second. Okay. The first one is like first, poker, face, poker face, brown eyes, boys, boys, boys. Oh, all those. That's that's great. Yeah. I, I, I love just that. I just imagine you know you're just parkouring around. And this, you know, and then you can't be my poker face. It's, exactly. It's a great exactly. visual. Exactly. Yeah. And, as a, a side note, uh, at that time frame is when iPods were a thing. Mm -hmm. And I had the, the, not the minis, but the ones that had the little screens on it. You know, they're like very small, like eight gigs or whatever. And it gave you a top 25. Yeah. So the top 25 well, 24 of them were Lady Gaga between her mm -hmm. first two albums. 
And then number 25 was a song by an artist, T. Pazolite. They're from uh, Japan. Okay. They're j core And I just think that's funny. That yeah. My top 25, 24 of them, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, they need to bring that feature back. They need to bring it back. I don't know why they got rid of it, but they need to bring it. You know how many, you know how much more uh, progress I'll make in a game if I could listen to Little Yachty or Young Thug while I'm. Right. Hey, and let your me, own little soundtrack. Let me fight elves listening to Little Yachty. I don't <laughs> know why I can't do that. It's ridiculous. Well, can, can you run like Spotify or something while you play games, or can you only be, be in the actual app to listen to it? Like, like, can you run like a Spotify app in the background as you play? Yeah. I'm not sure. I feel like you can't. Unless, I mean, again, unless you're just running it off your phone and you got to play, but it's not the same. Oh, that's not the same at all. Not at all. No. Yeah. But back on track, another one, I mean, I guess on a technicality, would be uh, Resident Evil 7. And Mm -hmm. that was uh, the first one that was going on VR. So I was Mm, like, that's awesome. Like, I'm going to wait, get it on VR so that I can be, like, scared for real. Mm-hmm. And you know, not play it on the on a, a a regular console, so that way I'm not expecting anything, just to really heighten up the scare tactic ability of it. And I just never got a VR. I mean, I did eventually, but I completely forgot it about mm-hmm. it at that point. But then I saw it was on sale one day on Steam. I was like, holy crap! So I just bought it on sale on Steam and played it on my PC. I was like, well, yeah. screw it, whatever. And that ended up being a really good game. Like we have yeah. the my playthrough on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Oh I yeah. I loved it. It was a great one too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you talking about that. Like you're like you're like yeah. I mean, it it was kind of a thing where it was um, I think as you had mentioned like getting seven and we were like kind of surprised because it was like oh, we figured you probably would have played that already. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. it was years. Yeah. <laughs> Eight was yeah. almost coming out, or it was uh, yeah. uh, announced, or yeah, you know, was, or whatever. I think it was like either announced, like I think it was out there that eight was coming, or or it had been, a, yeah, it was out there or something. And we're like, oh, you just got to seven. Well, you're catching up right in, like right in time, right on yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I just, I just think it's funny sometimes when you hear like hype games get hype. There's so much hype and different things mm-hmm. like that. And then there's sometimes you have these games that you have your own personal hype for, and then some happens other things grab your interest or other things in life work. And then before you know it, it's a year or two after this game has come out and you're like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember I used to be really (laughs) excited about this game and now I'm just remembering that it exists. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Okay. I guess there's another one like the resident evil four remake. Like I was hyped for that. I bought a collector's edition and everything and I played it for an hour and a half. Yeah, I haven't touched it again. I I opened it the one time and that was it. I don't I just don't know why I just can't get sucked into it like I used to. Yeah, maybe it's because I already know the story. I know it's slightly different because it's a remake, but like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I mean, there was one game, the most recent one. I wasn't like super, super hyped for it, but I did have some hype for uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. Mm -hmm. um and but i haven't i haven't got that yet i'm real i'm real kind of but that one was more intentional it wasn't like a i forgot that it was coming out it was just more like i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna eventually get to it with these other ones i just it was just like oh what you know and then it's kind of crazy because you're like i followed it from the beginning i had interested in the beginning this is especially too true with kingdom come kingdom come deliverance i was so into it and there's been a bunch of people that have played it in in the in the interim of that, and there's mm-hmm. this whole community around this game now that has experienced it, and you're kind of not part of it, but you're kind of almost like a little bit like ticked off about it because you're like I was here before you, <laughs> <laughs> I was here when you knew nothing. I was the OG. Yeah, but then they're like, "Have you played the game? Have you actually played the game, moron?" And I gotta go. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. Actually uh. play it little capture right there yeah but um yeah that's that's it for my topic it's curious if you had any games like that so yeah, you got catalyst definitely. resident evil 7 mm-hmm. yeah um okay so my topic so there is a game coming out 
and it is called Marvel Rivals. And as we were discussing, I know that Marvel is kind of just putting anything in everything right now. But the type of game that it is is interesting and piques my interest and sets me up for this topic because it is a hero shooter 6v6. Now, you think of that, what other games do you think of? There's oh, well, there's one, really. Yeah, and it's the greatest it's one Overwatch. ever made. It's Oh, I was going to say Bloodborne, I'm sorry. Oh, not Bloodborne, but uh oh man. I messed it up. Even the the other one that 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 didn't make it. But yes, it is Overwatch. It's Overwatch. You know, they had a 66, which is now a 5v5 and you know, it's not just like you know, Valorant or CS:GO, where it's a team of five or six versus five or six, and they just to kill each other. Like you know, there's uh, objective uh, maps and you know stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I I think this is gonna hopefully be a competitive game to Overwatch. You know, maybe they uh, kick it up a little bit, have some incentive to do better, because right now they yeah. kind of have a monopoly on the genre. Right. And it's it's the like specifically like you were saying, like the hero shooter genre. Right. Yeah. Because like, yeah. I I from what I've read, you know, it's going to have like healers and tanks and DPS, you know, stuff like that. And it's starting off with 18 uh, hero roster. So okay. it's going to have some superheroes, some villains, you know, stuff like that. And it's going to have mostly a lot of the popular ones, you know, Spider-Man loki iron man you know stuff like that Mm -hmm. but uh i was wondering is there any other genre or game type or what have you that needs a competitor because they're just kind of doing what they want because they can yeah well 100 percent. so so first what i was going to say was actually said bloodborne i meant battleborn that was the other one that overwatch bodied um I think, and I kind of mentioned, so I mentioned a sports game before. I think sports games fall into that easy. Mm -hmm. So um, one that I would say is probably Madden, for sure. Like Oh, for sure. I was was thinking of that. Yeah. And I also think that uh, the NBA 2Ks need that, too. EA has their NBA Live that they've been trying to make, and they've been bungling in it for years. They've just done a terrible job with it. Mm -hmm. Um, So I feel like, you know, that can kind of, that can be an area where there's, like, it needs more competition, right? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think because it, it's interesting you say that because you think of like a game type or a genre like that, where it's like, yeah, there's not a lot of competition, like spe- like directly within hero shooters. I think there's been more than just like Battleborn. There's been other ones, but they've all kind of failed. So I think the hope is that Marvel Rivals actually sticks because it has the IP behind it. Right. right. That's what I'm thinking. And, you know, if, if it's not doing great at first, they at least have the backup support to just kind of keep it running to see if it does turn over and start creating some sort of profit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think of like so like you think of genres like I was, I was just thinking about like RPGs and any other subtype of RPGs has a ton of competition in it. Right. So like mm-hmm. some genres just get a lot more competition than other ones. Um I feel like for a while, like back in the day, there was a lot of competition for COD, right? And it just didn't stick. Like Call of Duty just kind of like outlived all of them. Yeah. Uh, there's some that exist along with it, but there was a lot that were there were a lot that were directly trying to compete with what COD is. Like I think of like Battlefield doesn't really directly compete with COD. It does in some things, but not in everything. Just, yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good example. Yeah, it just but, it didn't um, explode as much as COD did. Yeah, yeah, and then and then instead of exploding, it imploded. It so, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of like another genre besides like sports where you need more competition. I would say it's not a genre that has a lot of juice behind it, but I would say like extreme sports sub games so if you think of like like snowboarding games or Mm -hmm. skiing games or skating games or something like that right i mean like for a while it was just like it was just tony hawk and then you had skate come along skate came along that that did yeah but you have tony hawk and skate that's still not a lot of competition you know right i know there was a there was a playstation game called two extreme 
Yeah. I, I think that was it. And there might have been a three inch dream, if I remember, but like mm-hmm. that that died. Right. You know, there hasn't really been any bigger push lately because there there was like SS Tricky that was snowboarding. Mm-hmm. And then you had but, um you had uh a couple, I'm trying to think, I just had his name, but um I think you might have had like a Dave Mira, Max Hoffman might have did some BMX games, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um again, that's kind of like there's nothing as big as Tony Hawks. Right. Yeah. There's not they a lot of competition. So many. There. Yeah. 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 They did. And yeah, and they did. And it, again, it kind of imploded, but it's kind of another example of just not a lot of competition. It needs competition. You know, I think skate coming along was good for it. It pushed it. You need something mm-hmm. like competition is what you need. Um, yeah. And I don't, I mean, I don't know. What do you think of like, I mean, even like, so I think of something like, like platformers, that's mm-hmm. a, that has a lot of competition, but if you think of something that fits the, the genre of something like a Mario, right. You would say that Mario had like, what well, like Mario had for competition crash and Sonic. Right. Or just, yeah, Sonic, um, Spyro was there for a minute. Yeah. Kind of. You know, right. It, it, that hasn't been around for a while. I think they just did a remaster, but. Yeah. What is that going to do competitive wise? I mean, would you put Banjo Kazooie, you know, in that? Mm. I don't know. They only had like two games. Yeah. And they were good. Yeah. But nothing compared to Mario or Sonic or Crash even. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, I think um, you think it's like some of those like third person shooter explorer games. Um, like, like I think when that benefited basically because one inspired the other, and then that one inspired the other is if you think of like Tomb Raiders inspired the Uncharted, mm-hmm. and the Uncharted inspired the new Tomb Raiders, right? right? So, mm-hmm. so that was, I think that was the thing that got kind of benefited because those games are also like those game series are pretty good. They're they're pretty good like series. Mm-hmm. So I think that's something where competition was good there and a lot of those ideas that were explored in those games have been used in other third person action games and stuff so um but yeah i can't think of one where it's like really anymore where outside of those sports games it's does, solely uh, just one game that really dominates does you know? uh assassin's creed have even like pet- competition which one assassin's creed That's a that's a good point. Assassin's Creed doesn't really have competition in that space. I, I know there was one game. I think they only made two of them, though. I can't remember what it was called. I think it started with a D. I'm trying to think. But it was kind of in the past times, you know, like castles and stuff. The guy has like a mask and you had to be sneaky sometimes and you could like Dishonored. scale. Dishonored. Yeah, I think that's the game. If we're talking like what? like that whole like kind of like assassin like spy assassiny kind of type of yeah. subgenre, yeah, 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 I think Dishonored fits in that with the assassin with the assassin creeds. Um, uh, hey, I said it before, I'll say it again. If you want to bulk, bulk that subtype up, bring back Tenchu. Where's Tenchu? Bring back <laughs> Tenchu. Bring back <laughs> Shinobi. Right. Well, technically, Sega is bringing back Shinobi. That's like one of the games they said they're going to bring back. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's another one that could, that's another one that could definitely use. But also, Assassin's Creed has lately been trying to do more action RPG. So they're also breaking out of their specific game type genre. Got you know, it. I would say like the older ones, maybe up to like, maybe up to like Syndicate or something. We're like more like really kind of you think the later ones of uh, Origins, Odyssey and Valhalla, those are action RPGs. I mean, yeah, they're Assassin's Creed, but they're they're action RPGs, you know, Um, they're basically competing with ghosts and they're competing with all that other stuff. But, yeah, I do think Dishonored kind of competed with Assassin's Creed and and a lot of those ways. And a lot of aspects um, Dishonored, I would say probably most people would say that Dishonored was better. Um, than Assassin's Creed when it comes to the assassins part, you know, and, spe- and it's definitely from the storytelling standpoint. Um, okay, yeah, bring back, bring back Tenchu. I said it before, saying bring back Tenchu. I remember playing Tenchu 
Z, I believe, on mm. the 360 for just hours every day. Bring back Tenchu. What are we doing? Hey, but I hear you. They eventually they heard got... me about F Zero, so they did. They did. So just gotta keep saying it. I thank them. Still haven't yep. played it though. So that's another one. Nah. That's another one yeah. of your topic. You actually wished for it. That's, <laughs> you actually you actually mani- made, manifested it and made it materialize, and you were still like, not yet. I'll get to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's all I can think of. Yeah. You know, but it, competition's a good thing, especially when it's, it's not always good. rigged. It's always good, yeah. Yes, especially when it's not rigged. Yes, and especially when it's real competition. It's not fake competition. Yeah. Example, example I'll use uh, of this is real quick is car parts. Everybody thinks about car parts. Have you ever heard of AC Delco? Mm-hmm. Ever heard of that company? So they make GM car parts. There's two. There's two places you can get General Motors car parts from: GM Genuine Parts or AC Delco. Well, guess what? GM owns both of them. <laughs> so, so if you're like GM parts are way too expensive, I'm gonna go get AC Delco. Guess what? You're giving GM your money there too. So it's kind of the same thing, like this manufactured thing that's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't, you know, it's all the it, shelves in the grocery store. It is. It's all owned by the same ten companies. Oh yeah, you're going down. Like you have a hundred options. You think you're getting all these options of, of different companies for cereal? General Mills owns like all of them. It don't matter. It's pickle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, with it being the end of our topics, I guess it's moving to final thoughts. Alrighty. Final thoughts, where we can give a final thought about anything that is related or unrelated to the podcast episode. So, I can give a final thought, or Dave, if you have one of mine, you can take it away. I'll take it away. Okay. So I have a coworker who is uh, really into. 3D printing, and I was like, hey, is there any designs for headphone holders? And they laughed at me because they're like, yeah, there's thousands. I was like, mm-hmm. oh. So they sent me a site, and I was looking through them. And I was just looking for, you know, easy, vague one, nothing crazy. They had a lot. They have a lot. He was not joking. There's yeah. times that you just sit on the desk. There's sign. There's times that you can attach the side of the desk. There's things that you can just put on the wall. Like it's insane the amount that there were. And I, I just, I picked this one. I don't, you know, whatever. So you just, you just done. It just, you know, boop. There you go. And it just sits there. Yeah. And you know, it was cheap. He said, I, I need, I wanted one for me and my son. So he was like, yeah, 15 bucks. And I'll print two of them for you. I was like, all right, cool. You know, so now I don't have them just sitting on the desk anywhere and uh he would always hang it over his monitor i'm like that's not that's not good for that you know so mm-hmm. now we have something somewhere to put them and i think that's really cool like all the designs and stuff we have for 3d printers there's so much stuff you can make yeah it's insane oh yeah it's pretty cool and the fact that yeah you can just draw up and create designs if you have something you yep. need to fix or some t- certain type of piece to make something work you know, you just kind of try to mold or design something out, see if it works, and then you've got it. You don't have to go get something else. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. my final thought. That's a good one. Um, my final thought is that um, there was recently, I don't know if I talked about this, there was recently a Beaches DLC that was released for City Skylines 2 okay. to make good. Um, you know, help appease people, and everyone hated it. And uh, <laughs> what they've decided to do is, is that they have decided to refund everyone who bought it, and they are going to make that DLC available as a part of the base purchase of the game. Um, wow! This, this, I have not seen a game be such a it feels like lingering disaster for a company. Most mm-hmm. of the time, if a game comes out and it's a quick death, right? Mm-hmm. It's Anthem. It's, oh, this is terrible. And your company's going to almost just fail completely. This seems like it's going to be a thorn in the side of Colossal Order and Paradox for years. It feels like this is just a thing they've made. 
that is just going to get them animus and just and just bad bad opinions and bad publicity, right? Because even even like we, I've talked before about the Total War Feral that came out and how Creative Assembly and Sega have a complete dumpster fire there. That's mm. mostly quiet on that front now, right? If it's a trash game, it's a trash game. We get over it, we go. Right. With City Skylines, it's not ending. It's never every week, <laughs> every two weeks, there's something else they're apologizing for and trying to make right. Um, so my my hope is that they figure it out because I would I really enjoy City Skylines. I played a little bit of silly City Skylines too, and for what worked, I did enjoy of it. And it would be really nice to be able to jump back into that game and play it a little bit more in the right. way that I think they they intended for it to be played. But they've got a they've got just a dumpster fire over there, and they're having a hard time putting it out. So, well, hopefully they figure it out because I mean, that's what uh, Cyberpunk was. Yeah, but Cyberpunk had good bones though. This this ain't got good bones. It's got some oh, weird bones worse. on it. Yeah, it's got some okay. weird bones. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a but, bigger ladder to climb up. It is, but hopefully, hopefully they can make it right. But I don't know. Like Paradox's mo is that because Paradox also released another game called Millennia, which is a four X game. It's supposed to compete with Civilization, and it's also it was released in a bad state. Paradox has been bad recently, just flat bad. Um, and so they've clearly got some internal issues they need to get fixed and solved. And so I don't know how long sounds it's going like to take. It, it sounds right. like they're going to probably have to burn through some cash before the people there that make the big bucks, make all the decisions, wake up, put their egos aside and actually listen and start to, to do things the right way. But right. don't know how close to the edge they need to get in order for them to actually have that sense of urgency kick in. Mm-hmm. So, that's what happens with a lot of these big companies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of level 100. The Woo-hoo. thoughts and players podcast. If you like what you heard, please follow the podcast on your preferred podcast service, like an Apple group, like an Apple podcast, like an overcast, which is preferred over Apple for me, at least like a YouTube music I guess that's what Google is doing now, like Amazon Music and all those different things. You can also like and follow the, the podcast on the socials, like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and then, of course, uh, YouTube, where we upload video versions of the podcast episodes. If you want to support the pod, there's a couple of ways you can do that. One, get the merch. An example of that this phone case right here that I've had forever, right? Um, Still looks good. Still looks good. The thoughts and players still coming through as good as ever. The T is cut off a little, so it says podcast. Uh, <laughs> but it's, that's okay. That's how we want it. Uh, so, yeah, you can go there to support us. You can also check out our Patreon. We have three tiers, two, five, and seven dollar tier. If you want to uh, join us there and help support us, you get a bunch of interesting, good uh, Patreon exclusives like the Lost Level 99 will be dropping. Um, there is also a episode one of uh, the Let's Play series for Game Dev Tycoon. Um, episode two will be coming pretty soon. And there will be a bunch of other stuff that's on there as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. David, is there anything else you'd like to add? Peace. All righty. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sticking with us to level 100. And we will catch you on the next level.